Hey y'all, today we're going to do this one stroke seahorse design. I'm going to start out by using Krivel and Marble Blue and some Diamond Effects Lime Green. I'm just going to sponge it on over the eye and then down the side of the cheekbone. And next I'm going to be using BAM stencil number 3011 and some of the light blue from the Diamond Effects palette. And on the other eye I'm going to be using the Krivel and Marble blue. And for the outline of the seahorse I'm going to be using Diamond Effects Springtime One Stroke in a 3 4 inch angle brush. So first you're gonna just gonna make the little mouth area of the seahorse. It's just a tiny little rectangle shape. Then you're gonna cut up through the eyebrow and make a series of U shapes, like scallop shapes coming all around the back of the seahorse. These are really easy and super fast. And then once you get to the bottom, you're gonna twist your brush around and then just pull back up into a curve. And for the seahorse's stomach area, you're going to do the exact opposite type of shape. So you're going to pull in and in and in and then connect it to the bottom. And then just connect it up to the eye a little bit. If you're doing this on a younger child, you could just totally skip that part. And so on the other cheekbone, I'm going to make a U shape. And then I'm going to come to the inner corner of the eye with my angle brush and swoop one line up. And then I'll just try to make sure I got a good transfer of the color there. And then I'll come back up and make another swoop. So I'll have two of the stripes coming up the side of the forehead. And next I'll use some of the dark blue from the Diamond Effects palette on a liner brush just to outline the seahorse's entire body. I think this design would be perfect for summer and it's a unisex design. You could use this for a boy or a girl. And if you wanted to, after you outline the seahorse, you could really just be done right there. At this point, the seahorse by itself would be about a four to five minute design, so it's really fast and event ready. But if you're at a birthday party or an event with not as many kids and you want to do an extra eye design on the other side, you could do something like this. Just pull in some dark blue and then give some eyeliner to bring out the eyes a little bit. And then I'm gonna pull in a second blue line adjacent to that one and I'm gonna connect the two blue lines with some U shapes. And now using some of the light blue from the DFX palette, I'm just gonna go in and put a series of larger to smaller dots along the seahorse's spine area. And if you're doing this design on a little girl, feel free to go ahead and give the seahorse some cute little eyelashes. And just to help it stand out a little more between the light blue dots, I went in with some Krivel and White and gave it some white dots as well. And now using a gem that I got from the face paint form shop, I'm gonna use it sideways as a little flipper, fin, I'm not sure what you call that on a seahorse on the side. And then I'm gonna go along with self-adhesive gems, blue gems, and put them at the top of each point of the spine. And next I'm gonna use some Afterglow Cosmetic Glitter in the Iridescent Blue Fairy Wing just to go throughout the center of the body and over the eyelid to give it some extra sparkle.
And as a finishing touch, I'm gonna use some of the dark blue along the outer edges of the lips. And then I'll come in and fill in the center with some of the lime green from the DFX palette. And while that's still wet, I'll take some green iridescent glitter and just dab it right in the center of my lips. And that's it. That's the finished design. I hope you guys can use this or some version of this this summer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.